zero. What is Knight's Mind Training? Right now, having an interview, seeing the camera, bright light, window, uh -huh. green tree outside, blue sky, talking, where a little nervousness, a little excitement, talking about Knight's Mind Training. So that's a demonstration. That's Knight's Mind Training is about paying attention to the present moment in a particular kind of way, a way that's without judgment. So our judgments of whether something is good or bad, whether we like it or dislike it, whether we want to hold on to it because we don't want it to go away or push it away because we can't stand it. Getting through all of that so that in whatever the situation is in the moment, it's just very clear and then we can handle that situation in a way that lets us respond more effectively, connecting with that moment, with that situation. We vow to express Knight's mind through attention, self-control, resilience, and effective action. Overwhelmed is a very good word. So our bodies, not just our minds, but our bodies um, carry stress or distress. We're, uh, we, all, we all know how this works, where we start to feel overwhelmed. And um, then what happens on top of that is our minds say, oh, I don't like this feeling. And so then we begin the story, oh, I'm overwhelmed, I can't handle it. I'm overwhelmed, it's that person's fault. I'm overwhelmed again, I'm so awful. I'm overwhelmed, I shouldn't be. And all of these stories then are just heaping more and more suffering or pain on top of the pain that's already there. Check your minds, check your bodies right now. What's going on for you knowing that all of a sudden you, you could be a celebrity here? <laughs> it's the same. Okay. It's, totally you seem like a guy like I think you might really enjoy that camera. Like, it's like <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I'm really, at this point, targeting students that have high degrees of what we call uh, behavioral or emotional dysregulation meaning they are lacking in some of those skills to be able to maintain some self-control when emotions are really firing up. Sitting up tall, kind of as if strength coming out of the top of your head, connected to the ceiling, feel those feet on the floor. We're just doing it one minute, okay? Remember, whatever comes up, no problem. Just something that happens, notice it, and then bring your attention back to just what you're doing right now. Everyone ready to begin? Yes, sir. In three, two, one, zero. Okay, at ease. That was one minute. How was that? We do a, a lot of group activities that uh, are kind of targeting our four core skills of Knight's Mind Training. Attention, self-control, resilience and effective action. And so we use those activities not, o not only as a way of introducing the concepts of Knight's Mind Training, but letting the students really experiencing it. So one thing that I'm always sharing with students is that it doesn't matter how much knowledge and words they're able to take in or say the right words back, what Knight's Mind Training is about is Every day is training day, so putting it into practice, putting into practice, putting into practice, and never finishing it. Uh, so it's very action-oriented, which I find these young uh, teen boys uh, really thrive on.